Retained products of conception is the second most common cause of postpartum bleeding after uterine atony. Every radiologist or sonographer working in the field of obstetric and gynecology should be familiar with retained products of conception. You must know a few about clinical and pathologic findings of RPOC. We must know diagnostic methods of RPOC including ultrasound and also MRI. We must know grayscale ultrasound findings of RPOC, for example, increased endometrial thickness and echogenic endometrial complex. Also, we must know color Doppler ultrasound findings, and according to grayscale and color Doppler ultrasound findings, we must differentiate the types of RPOC, including RPOC type 0, type 1, type 2, and finally type 3. It's very important to know the pitfalls of diagnosis, especially we must differentiate enhanced myometrial vascularity from arteriovenous malformation. Don't mistake underlying endometrial abnormality like endometrial polyp and subendometrial fibroma with RPOC and also, we must know sub-involution of the placental implantation site, which is a transient physiologic change after delivery. You can find all this information about written products of conception in my video. Thank you for your attention.